I set myself a YouTube Shorts challenge and this is the result so far. Hello, my name is Victoria and I set myself a 10 day YouTube Shorts challenge because I wanted to get to 1000 subscribers, which is the threshold for YouTube so you can start earning money. And the other reason was because I wanted to practice talking to the camera and getting more comfortable and confident in front of the camera. Where am I in the challenge so far? Today is day five, which means that I have published five YouTube Shorts and so far so good. Um, each time I press record, I still feel nervous, but I decided that I really wanted to get this done and I really do want to get this practice in. So I push through, I step out of my comfort zone and I hit the record button. Another um, way that I actually get through these videos is because I give myself a time limit. I record the videos before I go to work. And so that means that there's only a small window of time where I can record the video, I can edit it and then upload it so that I've done it before I go off to work. What have I gained so far? So as I said, I have recorded and uploaded five videos so far. And since I've started this challenge, I have gained 15 new subscribers. So I'd like to say thank you very much for subscribing. Um, and that means I need another 305 people to subscribe so that I hit the 1000 subscriber threshold needed by YouTube. I know that I need 4000 watch hours as well, but I will work on that afterwards. <laughs> I think one challenge at a time is enough. <laughs> What do I talk about in my videos? I knew that I would need something to talk about in the videos, so I decided to talk about something that I am doing, which is publishing um, articles on medium.com. It's a platform where you can actually make money by posting articles. You need to uh, subscribe, which costs about $5 a month. But once you subscribe, you can then write and publish as much as you like. You can write articles which are as short as 100 words, or as long as um, I think 10,000 words and plus. The way that you make money is that people who are subscribers, they read your articles and you get money from those reads. A good way to make sure that your articles get shared and get read is by engaging with the community, which is quite easy to do. You just read other people's articles and you leave uh, nice comments. That's basically it really. Another way you can make money if you don't want to make money from the partnership program, you can add affiliate links into the articles and you can then make commissions that way. If you are interested in looking at the type of articles that I've written or the articles that I've written for the past week, I have attached a free download in the description box below. Uh, you can just download it. You don't need to add your email or anything. And I've put links so that you can actually read the articles for free. So you don't have to be a member. And then if you are interested in following along, you can decide whether you want to become a member of Medium and you can then start your own money making journey on the platform. I actually recorded a video about making money on Medium. I recorded the video about uh, I think a couple of weeks ago and it is quite awkward <laughs> and so I thought I would scrap it but now that I've actually put it together I think again it's another example of trying to get comfortable in front of the camera so I'm gonna upload it because why not it is me practicing in public and there was some information in there that could be useful to you if you are interested in making money on Medium. Talking to a camera I don't think it gets any easier I think you just get more comfortable doing it it's a strange thing to be staring at a camera and talking to yourself. So we have to remember that everybody who is on YouTube now started with their first video. And I'm sure that the majority of people were just as nervous, just as awkward and um, just as uncomfortable as I am feeling today. <laughs> I know that a year from now, the more that I do this, the more comfortable I'll feel, the less ums and ahs there will be. And it will not feel so alien. So if you're thinking about starting your own YouTube channel, I think you should definitely go for it. Know that it will be uncomfortable in the beginning and hopefully it will feel less uh, uncomfortable as you go along. That's what I hope anyway. <laughs> okay, so that is it for today's video. It is a short and sweet one. I just wanted to do a progress report and here are some bloopers. Hi, Pam. <laughs> 
I always say hello to my sister before I start recording because that makes me relax and I just think about FaceTiming her so it's like a normal conversation instead of thinking of uh, strangers, <laughs> strangers staring at me. So, hi Pam! <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. Um, here are some bloopers. <laughs> oh. Hello, this is a test. I was looking in the wrong direction. I'm now looking at the camera. Maybe I should sit back further. Uh, I wonder if that's better. Hey! That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.